Okay, hey, uh, it's the day before Thanksgiving. We get a little light rain. It's been coming through off and on, as you can tell. Uh, things are a little bit wet. We've been getting good, you know, some decent rains lately, so that's good. The soil's soft. Everything's looking good. The uh, plowed and cultivated soil is looking really good right now, actually. Uh, but even with this, you know, it's a little bit warmer today than it has been. It's been really kind of chilly out, right? Kind of really cold, kind of cold, really cold. Not kind of, but cold. Um, but we got to get some more hay out. Even in nasty weather, we had to put hay out. This is not really too nasty as it was earlier when it was raining. But uh, I'm going to get some uh, hay in for the sheep. We'll get to see them here in just a minute. And then we'll go put... Uh, round bill out for the cows because they ran out already too and uh thinking the male person is up there by alex's house what it looks like yeah so anyway we'll get this we'll get some hay out for them because they are out they're mad they're angries but uh yeah let's go in here here comes the chickens running Look at them. I got four. Four chickens. That's it. They're coming to see me today. They went off. I brought them any leftovers from the house. Any scraps? No, I did not. Uh, hey, the sheep are looking really good right now. I got them inside right now. I got to get some work done on his back pen so I can get them outside in there. And uh, then get some fencing done so we can actually turn them into bigger areas. Um, we're going to start working on that real heavy. Uh, I've been dealing with some other things. I've been having... Some other things I've been having to deal with lately prevent me from getting a lot of work done. But uh, we're going to crank that back up. Things are getting a little bit better right now. And uh, we'll get going on that. They need to eat all that stem on that suit in that time. We'll just get them a little bit more. All right, I have to edit that out. So uh, we're feeding uh, some suit in hay, square bell right now. And uh, let's get that over here. They get a little bit picky on eating stem, it looks like. They'll eat it though. It's taking a little bit longer to get to it. This one's got a little bit of grass in it too, as you can see. So right there somewhere, yeah. Uh, we got some good suit in. The sheep, like I said, these sheep are doing really well. They're uh, not registered royal whites, but they're royal whites. I gotta get a ram. I'm actually looking at one down by College Station right now. And I'm thinking about going and getting. Um, so we'll see. If we go get that, we'll let you know. We'll make a video probably. Sit right here, look at the cows. They're looking angry. Hangry, which is a combination of angry and hungry. Uh, so I, I gotta fix this. This is one of the big things I gotta fix. I can put sheep out here, right? And I gotta put something on right here. This gate used to go there. I don't know why it's over there now. But anyway, I can't remember. Oh, I used it. That's why. So we're going to put that over. We're going to move this gate. I need to cut that bottom off because it's already off the other side. Just making it to a hanging gate. And put it in here and put some uh, mesh on it so they can't go out through it. I got to put fix that right over there in that corner right there. So I put something up here, panel up here. And I got that corner I got to fix. And I'm going to open this up, so i got to do some work right here. Um, I really need to, I need to put something on that panel. And i got to put something right there in the gap in that gate. And that'll take, that should fix everything where they can't get out. Hopefully. And I'll go look at everywhere else too, just make sure. That way they can get in here, they can get some green grass. This rye grass is trying to come up already. Um... So they can get here and eat this down. They can eat this down. It's been just over a week now since the frost. So this is about ready for them to come eat on. Um, I'm going to show you this little guy here. I posted a video on him already. Uh, but man, he's talking about one slick dude, boy. That's his mama there. She's a beast. She's a uh, key. key. She's registered Key and Nina, but she's actually a maintainer also. Uh, she's a man amongst boys cow out of a uh, 
uh, Randy Allgoodstock uh, of a cow, which is, you know, man, she's, she's just a beast. And, and look, look at that, look at that calf, my gosh. That is something. So we're gonna see how calm he is when we bring him in. He might have some nub horns, it looks like now. So we have to get him dehorned also. I see nubs. Um, but yeah, we'll see how calm he is when we bring him in. He's a little bit wet, so you can see what it actually looks like. He's still pretty darn thick looking. But uh, we'll get him in and uh, here, I don't know, January sometime. See how calm he is. If he's calm enough for Maddie to show, we'll get her to show him. If not, we'll find a little bit older showman for him and uh, and sell him that way. So that's kind of what the plan is right now. Um, trying to see. Everybody's here. There's ribeye over there. I really got to get him in because he's going to fall apart on me if I don't. Uh, this is one of uh, this cow. That's one of her daughters. This is a Shorthorn Plus. Uh, I need to get her in a palpator, see how far along she is. Uh, and see, you know, if she's got a calf in her or not. I don't know. If she don't, she needs to go to the cell barn. You know, sometimes when you start running these purebred cattle and these show cattle and stuff like that, sometimes they don't breed right. If they're not going to breed right, I need to get rid of them. It just costs too much money to feed cattle. It'd be a shame because she's built, she's wide built and everything. I like to get her into production, but you know, we'll see. I said, I just got to palpate her and see if she's bred and how far along I think she is. I'm not seeing any kind of development back there right now on her udder, so that concerns me. Uh, like I said, I won't sell her as a breeder if she won't breed out here. I'll just take her to sell barn. Uh, this cow had a she boarded her calf back a few months back. I think the heat and drought and everything got them this year. I don't know what they were eating when they were out here on the pasture. It wasn't much to eat. Uh, so they were probably eating all kinds of crap that makes them abort. So she's had a rough time getting back, but uh, we really need to get all these cows in, get them worked, get them dewormed. We won't deworm him because he's our, he's our food. Uh, bull needs to be dewormed and brought in probably. I need to get this pen fixed and this pen fixed up. <clears throat> then we got a shorthorn bull back there out of Queen and this guy right here in front of us he's in the way of course but uh, he's pretty cool looking I think we'll probably raise him for uh, for beef I would imagine I'm not really set to show bulls right now I don't have the facilities for it to can't get around move out of the way dude so he's blocking away but I don't really have facilities to be doing bulls you know, I think steers and heifers will be okay uh, until we redo everything here. I mean, we got a lot of work to do down here, but uh, I really need to get the sheep out here in this pen first and then get these other pens going. So I got some messes, but there's all of our square bells we put up. They're right here. Uh, we end up with 90 something bells. We've been feeding quite a bit. We've been feeding some to the cows, some to the sheep, but it's all right here. So we're doing good with that. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go and uh, get a square bell, I mean a round bell put out for the for the cows out there. I said, that's all we got left. I mean, we sold, we sold most of our cows. I mean, this is what we got left. You know, a couple of these were younger, that's why I kept them. And of course, you know, the, our, our uh, key there, I like, you know, I'm trying to get he uh, steers out of her and maybe heifers too, if they're good, but for sure steers. And I can't sell queen over there, you know, you know, you go win shows like Fort Worth and and stuff, you know, and Houston and State Fair. You, you're you're not gonna get sold. You're gonna you're gonna live your whole life out out here. I don't care. Uh, I don't care if I gotta back up a corn truck all the time over here to feed you. She's gonna get fed. So uh, and we got this young one on the right to that key is a uh, fairly young uh, Mav Charisma cow. So she's sired by Mav Charisma and a. Uh, Soul Red Ruby, I think, is what it is. So she's got a good breeding in her. She's had a, uh, a good, two good calves already for us that we've sold. And so we're hoping, you know, we can get a good calf out of her. And the one that that's that aborted her calf, she's actually a pretty good breeding. Uh, I just gotta, I just gotta get some uh, deworming done on her, get her shots back up to date on her. And hopefully we can get a calf out of her next year. If not, then we'll have to call her also. Um, but uh, that's part of the cattle business, right? 
you know, especially if you're doing purebreds and stuff. And uh, you, you got to cull, right? You got to take the ones who are not producing. You got to take them out, unless they're queen. You don't take queen. But the rest of these, pretty much, if they don't produce, they got to go. And I'll go find something else. But uh, we're going to turn heavily to sheep too, though. So we're not going to keep a lot of cows uh, unless we start producing corn and everything else out here uh, to feed to basically feedlot cows back here, which we could. We could do it like to do up north in Iowa and places like that. We might eventually get to that point, but we're not there yet. So I, I like these sheep. They're pretty cool, and uh, they're they're easy. And so these are hair sheep, so should taste really good. When they say have babies, those babies are old enough to eat. We'll be uh, we'll be set. Looking forward to that day. Anyway, we'll come back to you after I'm putting hay out.
And a bunch of fire ants on me. That's the first time I've had the fire ants really in the hay like that. I think I got them off so them off. them everywhere. And another one. Kind of messy in here now. Anyway, that's all we gotta do to feed nowadays. So we don't got a whole lot. We don't have to put out multiple bells at a time no more. That's good because we don't got no hay because of the drought this year. But this next year should be awesome. Gonna get here and finish picking up stumps. Get this dry a little bit, get her to pick up stumps and disc again. We'll go from there. Yeah.